Now, I threatened earlier to talk about what Christmas is about. Hmm. I probably don't have the skill to do that, or the wisdom. I can probably talk more about what Christmas isn't about. It isn't about Turkey. It isn't about buying Xbox and PlayStation. Sorry, folks, it isn't even about buying Hornby Dublo. It's the day in the year when we celebrate the birth of Christ. It's Christmas, Christ Mass. Now, I'm not going to get into arguments as to whether Jesus was born on the 25th of December. Let's face it, the 25th of December wasn't um, settled on the date that it is now until Popes Julian and Gregory and all that sort of stuff. So, if on that wonderful day, two and a bit thousand years ago, if you had spoken to Joseph and said, you know, what's the date today, Joe? He would not have said the 25th of December. So let's not get into that argument. Let's just accept that it's the day that we celebrate his birth. Now, I think we should celebrate all births, you know, whether it's children to friends or our own children or whether it's the birth of a, a child to a stranger. We should celebrate all birth, I think. And in the run-up to Christmas, churches will often talk about quite a, quite a string of interesting births. You know, the birth of Samson in the Old Testament. You know, his mum was too old to have children. Hmm. The birth of John the Baptist. His mum thought she was too old to have children. Elizabeth, mother of John the Baptist. Now, there is a little bit of a contrast because, of course, Mary was not too old to have children. But, nonetheless, she had a child. We all know the, the story. I, I say that. I guess we all know the story, don't we, that Joseph and Mary had to go to Bethlehem whilst Mary was heavily pregnant. And, you know, we all know that, that wonderful sort of thing that they went to the inn and they said, you got a room for me and uh, And the innkeeper said, sorry, no, no, but you can use the stable. We all know that story. And Mary was delivered of a healthy, baby. That is one of the start points of what Christmas is about. I'll leave it to much better uh, theologians and such likes uh, who, who can talk through the immense significance a changing event for the whole world. You know, it's the year 2019. Um, why do we say it's 2019? Well, because we started dating things from when Christ was born. Remembering that when he was born, the people around him uh, 
they didn't all universally accept him as being important. In fact, you know, his parents had to rush off to Egypt because there was a general threat to babies born on Christmas Day that year. That is the start of what Christmas is about. Remembering the birth of Christ. Now in this wonderful church here in Azay le Ferrand, we've got statues. Of course we've got statues. That's the nature of this sort of church. We have a statue of Mary holding the baby Jesus. And next to it, we have a statue of Mary with the crucified Jesus.